Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to episode 39 of my WWE 2K14 Universe Mode. And we are here on Superstars and we're still at the start of the month because we have so many shows, oh my goodness. But um, episode 39. And let's see, did Smackdown get the rivalries? No they didn't, they're still empty. And yeah, we're sticking with two rivalries for next month because... The other one doesn't start until the end of the next pay per view. So we're sticking with Superstars 2 rivalries one between Shawn Michaels and The Rock, and one between Scott Steiner and Batista. <coughs> oh, 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 choking a little bit there. But um, the champions for Superstars are Andre the Giant and Randy Savage, and they have appeared once, I think, throughout the entire two months that they have uh, been on the show. Which is weird, really, because they've only appeared once. I know that Superstar roster is a lot bigger than the others. Actually, we can just click here. See, these have like 19, 19, 18, and then this one has 34, which is nearly double. But, um, you know, that's no excuse. The champions have only appeared twice for the entire thing. Hmm. Any who's all. At the end of the last, abis last episode, as always, I ask which match you would like to see, and the most commented one was Shawn Michaels versus Kevin Nash so that is the match I will be playing this episode but we have another few matches to get through first so first match is Jake the Snake versus Mr. Perfect and I think Jake the Snake might have this no Kurt Hennig of the NWO picks up the win there match two is Virgil versus Scott Hall Scott Hall has to have this one yeah of course he does match three is Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Triple Hash Brown and I think, hmm, I'm thinking Stone Cold might have this. Yeah, he does, yeah. Alright, next match, Batista versus Scott Steiner. I'm thinking Big Power Pump. No, he lost to Batista. Alright, but we have an update here. Batista has restored, has resorted to use an underhanded means to beat rival Scott Steiner. So he's playing dirty now. Ah. Batista playing dirty. And then finally we have the main event between Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash. It is a rivalry match, but it's just a normal 1v1 match, so let's get to it. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas. Weighing 227 pounds, the heartbreak Oh, the heartbreak kid looks to be on his way to fight another class.
We are in the match now. Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, Outsiders, and I'm going to be... HBK Shawn Michaels. Alrighty then. And before we start with any... Well, I guess we are starting anything. Um, I have some news. Kevin Nash, even though he appeared in the Royal Rumble, with shorter hair, and it was still dyed and everything because his hair would be grey. Um, that was like a one-time thing. He's only appearing once. And that's it, he's gone again. He probably got paid thousands just for that one appearance. I mean, it's the second biggest pay-per-view of the year. And, uh, you know, just to get him back, even for... He wasn't even there for, like, ten minutes. He was about five-minute job. And he probably got paid maybe, I don't know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 just for that one appearance. It's mad. It's just a mad amount of money because some people... Uh, you know, they like their whole year. They work for a whole year just to get that much money. And Kevin Nash put on his wrestling gear and wrestled for about five, ten minutes, and gets maybe ten, fifteen grand for that. And it's just mad. It's mad to think that just one little appearance and he gets that much money. Of course he would accept. You would be a fool to not accept that, unless you were Brock Lesnar and you'd be like, no, I want. 300 grand for one appearance or whatever. He's getting like 5 million for this two year appearance thing where he appears like, I don't know, however many times a year, which is just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, Kevin Nash probably did get paid around 10, 15 grand for that one appearance. And other news that I just read 20 minutes ago is, well, as of recording this, and it is quarter to four in the UK, so whatever that time is in the US. You know, I, I think it's like six hours behind or something. Um, but Matt Hardy and Rebby Sky have just been arrested for beating each other up in a motel. Like, they were literally fist fighting in a motel. Rebby Sky's got a black eye and busted lip, and Matt Hardy's got scratches and bruises all over his face and stuff. And they both got arrested because they were fighting each other. And apparently, there has been restraining orders from both of them on each other. And what? Where did this come from? Matt Hardy, like, literally yesterday, I seen him tweeting pictures of him and Rebby, and now they've just got arrested for beating each other up? What the hell? What? Eh, I, I don't even understand. But yeah, they've been arrested, I've seen the mugshots, and it's just like, pff, what? Apparently, yesterday they were a happy couple and everything, and now arrested, and they've got restraining orders against each other. <laughs> What the hell were they arguing about and fighting about? Like, literally fists fighting about. Matt Hardy punched Rebby Sky in the face quite a few times. She's got scratches and bruises and everything. Actual physical abuse by both of them here. And I don't even know. I don't even know how... I don't even know. I, I want to find out more here. I need some more information about this. But all I know is they were arrested last night for beating each other up. And... Yeah. Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Shawn Michaels with the beat down. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Oh my god! Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash! HBK, turn around, turn around. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm not ready, I'm not. What? Well, it should have made him turn around and I had to finish it. Oh god, there's the rock. Okay, the rock is actually coming out. Oh, Rocky, get out, yeah. No. DQ ref. Wait, what what the hell? What's the rock doing? Ah, oh, Kevin, I want the rock. Leave me. Where's the rock? Is he going? Is he pimping out? I mean, uh Get back here, you. Can I hit him? I can't even hit him. Yeah, I can! Oh Sweet chin music! Yes! 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 The rock is out! Get back in the ring! Screw the Rock! Rivalry between the Rock and Kev and Sh <laughs> Shawn Michaels continues here. Shawn Michaels, uh, well, the Rock trying to cost Shawn Michaels the match. That didn't work. He ended up getting super kicked right in the mush. And, uh, and now Kevin Nash is kind of getting something back here. But, you know, is it going to be enough? I don't know. Oh, trying to get a comeback. That didn't work. Let's take, take two. No, no, that's not going to work. Even higher in the air this time. Ah, uh, no. I'm going to lose the comeback. No, stop walking. Put me down. Put me down. Oh. Oh, well. The Rock wimps out. He didn't want anything to do with HBK. 
Now Kevin Nash is all over the place. Get drop kicked! Oh! He's reversing machine! Let me hit a move. There we go. Hit you in the face. Suck it, Kevin. Moonsault connects. Go for the pin. One, two. And Kevin Nash kicks out at two. Yeah, the big news of the day. Ravi Sky and Matt Hardy. You should see the mug shots. It's just weird. Like, they're really brutally hurt by Alex. But Ravi Sky looks to be in the worst. Actually, no, Matt Hardy looked to be in the worst. Ravi Sky from owning him, beating him up well. And, you know, when physical abuse happens between a man and a woman, I always root for the woman. Um, even though I know nothing about what's going on here um, in this story, Rebby Sky could have tried to stab him with a knife and that would have been self-defense, which in that case I'm all fine with. But if Matt Hardy started this, or it just started as an argument and got out of hand, I'm all behind Rebby Sky because a man should never hit a woman in any circumstances at all. That just shouldn't happen. Unless it's self-defense from a weapon attack or something. But, um, you know, if it, if this was just an argument that went out of control and started a fist fight, then Matt Hardy should be arrested just for beating up a woman and stuff because that is just not right. And, of course, Rebby Sky will probably get some consequences too. I know that they've paid their bail. It was $3,500 bail. Um, so they are out of prison and stuff, but... Uh, just like what the hell what happened I need to know more details of why this happened and stuff you know it's just it's just weird I don't know what I think about this um, but yeah both of them are pretty beat up Matt Hardy definitely in worse shape but uh, well from the looks of the mugshot but you know oh god he's going for it the power bomb the jackknife oh there's Sean dead Sean's dead Sean's dead God damn. God damn nation. Wait. Oh! I kicked out. That, why was the boss so big? That was the finisher. Get drop kicked. Oh. Come on, Sean. Pick up the pace. Gotta get back into this. The fans are going wild. Oh. Oh, get close lined in the corner. And. Oh. Okay, let's go up top. Oh, boo! Connect. Right, here we go, here we go. Corner finisher. Let's get it. Move, get it, get it, move, get it, get it. That's right. Kevin, turn around and get sweet. Tune music. Oh! And he's down. He is down. Kevin Nash is out. Drag him, drag him, Sean, drag him. Pin. That's gonna be it. One, two, what? Kevin Nash kicking out of two. What is going on? How is he still alive in this one? He's got switching musics. And he's still alive. He's going for a pin. Why are the bars so big? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. No. Kevin Nash getting up behind. Ah. Irreversible throwing. So the rock came out for whatever reason. See, look at how injured Kevin Nash is. How is he not dead? <laughs> it's like that CM Punk thing, uh, where he came back, like, was it last year or the year before, and he was like, I just got a text off my sister, Kevin Nash, WTF, LOL, I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, God, kick to the face. Uh, speaking of CM Punk, he walked out. He's just no longer billed to be at Elimination Chamber or at any live events. He walked out, he's done. I don't know if this means he is retiring or what, but you can't just walk out on a contract. Um, you know, he'll be getting fined for that, but if it's his choice, then, you know, he's obviously prepared to pay the fine uh, for uh, destroying a contract. If he is walking out, maybe he just is requesting uh, some time off for a while because he has been wrestling injured. You know, I thought it was a bit weird how he didn't appear on Raw. Um, and the reason was is because he's walked out. And I hope this isn't the end of CM Punk, because it was a mid-storyline with Kane, and then he just walked out. You can't just walk out mid-storyline, Punk. You've got to at least finish the storyline for the fans, go up until the next pay-per-view or something, have a match uh, against Kane, at least, at least finish up until WrestleMania. You know, they need a match between CM Punk and Kane, and Kane is beefed up right now. Really beefed up. 
He's in great shape. Best shape he's been in. And, uh, you know, CM Punk can't just walk out on a rivalry like that. But, you know, he's CM Punk. He, he's always done what he wants. And how the hell is Kevin Nash still alive in this one? Another two count off a second switch in music? Oh, my God. What is going to be enough? I think Kevin Nash has to win this because he's not uh, staying down. I keep thinking it's going to be a three count. And it's just not. Do I have to start working on the legs and stuff? Ugh. God, crunch. Okay. Well, if he hits another finisher or something, I'm probably going to be gone anyway. Another two count. Oh. Not the knockout punch! Oh, that was a big boot. Versus drop kick. And the drop kick worked. Come on, Nash. Stay down. Ugh. Elbow drop. Come on. Top rope. Top rope. Let's go top. Oh! There we go. Okay. He's in position. Signature move. Oh, boom! Oh, I missed. I missed. I'm down. Why am I, like, knocked out? Uh oh, he's going for it. The jackknife. Don't turn around, Sean. Don't turn around. Oh! No, he said it. He said it. He's got it. Ah, uh, boom. Sean is down. Am I out? I still kicked out. I still kicked out. Get switch your music. That's got to be it. Come on, ref. That has to be it. Has to be. Go for the pin. One, two, three. Three. Yeah, that's it. Third switch of music. We needed three switch of music to put down Nash. Nash did not want to stay down that match. HBK getting the win. And no one's 60. I got the looks. That'll drive the girls while I got the moves. they will really move them. But um, are we going to see The Rock come back out and try and attack Shawn Michaels? HVK did get a, a cheap shot uh, switching music on the rock as he was walking up the ramp. So maybe we could see him return. Return of the Mac. But are we? Are we? That is the question that everyone wants to know the answer to. HVK celebrating. I, I can't tell if this is a storyline or not. Wait. Yeah, that's the rock's music. Oh my god, Rock coming back out. Oh, he's behind you! Oh, a close lined. Oh my god. What a cheap shot by The Rock. What the hell? Cheap shot by The Rock. <laughs> a sneeze. No. But yeah, The Rock just laid out Shawn Michaels. Oh my god. Oh my god. We don't have any news on WWE.com. There was two cutscenes in that match. Hmm. Anyway, next show is SmackDown, so let's have a look at the match card here. We have R-Truth vs. RVD. Cody Rhodes and Kane vs. Christian and Antonio Cesaro? Well, that is a weird mix of people there. We have a rivalry match. Oh yeah, the rivalries! We get to see the SmackDown rivalries. Oh, 12 weeks. These will all be changing in four weeks, but these are the next rivalries. We have Randy Orton vs. Chris Jericho. So let's just change that to a short rivalry. Randy Orton versus Chris Jericho. Wow. Where's where's Randy? There he is. And Chris Jericho. There's Jericho. What a rivalry that will be. We also have R Truth and Xavier Woods versus PTP. Alright, let's do this. Tag team short. Um R Truth. Xavier Woods versus Primetime Players. Darren Young. And not Alberto Del Rio, no. Ugh, now we need to sort the whole thing out again. So where is it? Our truth. And Xavier Woods. Versus Darren Young. And Titus O'Neill. Where's Titus? There he is. Why didn't it just automatically go to him? Ugh, annoying. But anyway, there we go. And then finally, the third rivalry is Goldust versus Big E. Goldust and Big E. Hmm. There's Goldust, and Big E is right there. Interesting rivalry there. But, um, that is the rivalries for the next four weeks on SmackDown. Interesting stuff. So let's see how the match card looks now. We have R Truth versus RVD still. Cody Rhodes and Sheamus now versus Christian and Antonio Cesaro. Xavier Woods versus Darren Young in a rivalry match. 
Biggie Langston versus Goldust in an Extreme Rules match, and in the main event we have Randy Orton versus Chris Jericho in an Extreme Rules match. So, like always, comment which match you would like to see in the next episode, and that will be the one that gets played. But other than that, like up the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.